one of the common questions is where did the money come from to start all of this activity? Well, I put in my $3,000 from the Mitchell Prize. I knew Stuart Mott, the philanthropist, and he agreed with me. He gave $5,000, I remember, to get things going. The fellow who was chairman, president of ZPG before me, Jay Harris, was a scion of the Flagler family. John D. Rockefeller's associate who built the railroads down the east coast of Florida and started the development of uh, Palm Beach and so on. So Jay was well fixed and very interested in this sort of thing. He, he wrote me a letter and pledged $100,000. $25,000 the first year and then $5,000 less each year, which if you do it at the end comes up to $100,000. I learned a little something. He signed it at the end, J. Harris, L.S. L.S. stands for legal signature. And it made it binding on his estate. So he was an experienced and competent philanthropist who knew the problems of somebody promising money and then not delivering in the future. And so, so other persons uh, who were able to contribute did so, and we, we didn't have a very big budget. I think our first year the budget was $174,000. So it wasn't a huge operation by any means. And then at the end of the first year, we began to learn about direct mail. We started to be able to find donors through direct mail and all of the things you do to raise money. They, they say that how you raise money is you find people who've got it and then ask them for it. So you have to learn how to do that.